Hi Libras, hope you're doing fine today. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get right on with your reading today. Okay, somebody needs time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you, it's about me. So you're dealing with somebody who's trying to do some internal work. This is a game to me, the way I'm acting, responding, or posting. It's all just to get your attention. So we've got an attention getter here that's finally come to some, to some realization about themselves, that they do need to heal, that they've been playing games, seeking your attention and the attention of others. This person's insecure in themselves. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore, and it's easier to just stay in silence. So, you're probably not communicating with this person. They're feeling lost. They know they have to do some healing work here. Uh, and they've got to quit playing games, right? And uh, you're ve feeling very guarded. This has been very challenging for you and tiring. Mm -hmm. But you've had great stamina. And you've held in there. You might believe that this person's after a second chance. Yeah, you felt great disappointment. You were burdened by this person. They left you feeling empty, incomplete, and stuck. Made you feel like you weren't being able to move ahead in the connection. Saw great and wonderful things for it, but... Um, and you held a great hope, but that hope diminished when this person left you feeling incomplete. Mm -hmm. They left you with unresolved issues. They just kept you waiting so long. And then you became overwhelmed and you felt unstable and stuck. I think spirit held you back. And you just said no more. I'm not doing this anymore. Spirit said, you know, helped you pull back on this. Okay. So you were highly disappointed in this relationship. You're dealing with an insecure game player. Fortunately, they know this about themselves and they're taking time to heal. So if you're wondering what they're doing right now, well, they're just feeling lost and alone. Because they're taking time to heal. Or they need time to heal. Working on their self-love. Mm -hmm. they did not give you any balance in this relationship. You gave, they took, they breadcrumbed you. They treated you like you were insignificant as they played these games with you. This person now sees you as a bright new beginning. Yeah, they'd like to start all over with you. This 
person be, could live in a sunny place. Yeah, they want a brand new start. Looks like they're going to get one by hook or crook, whether it's with you or somebody else. Yeah, they want this Ten of Cups. They've got the Sun card and the Ten of Cups on their side. Wow. Okay. This person's motivated. They are motivated to uh, find a happier existence. Mm. They're thinking of family, uh, love, abundance, just a well-rounded, happy life. That's what this person wants now. Uh, they're lonely. They're lost. And you're over here just working on your bucks. Working on whatever it is that uh, you do and you make money at. You're productive. Yeah. They, this, 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 you know, all this waiting and worrying and the challenges that this person brought into your life may have stalled you from your work, may have thrown you off. But you're working now. You're trying to work. You're doing your best. Yeah, your defenses are high. Nobody's going to get to you now. You're on the right path, and you're you're hanging in there. Yeah, there you are, Libra, and your Queen of Swords energy right there. Got your sword up. Your intu intuitions working uh, overtime. Nobody's going to be lying to you. Yeah, you've set certain boundaries, that's for sure. Good for you. You can't have anybody playing games with you. Not with your emotions. Okay. This person's in the King of Wands in the reverse. So, you know, there's, there's no genders, really. Tarot, you just... You know, if it's a male or female or whatever, you just reverse the genders. This could be a king of, queen of wands in reverse, but they're in the king of wands in reverse energy, which this person could be angry. Yeah, they're, they're not, uh, they're, they're seeing everything from their perspective. That's how it's been. When they treated you, they treated you very unfairly. Mm -hmm. Rudely. Guys could have had uh, quarrels um, they could fly off the handle and be illogical you know. tell you what though I think this person's attractive male or female they usually get what they want king of wands in reverse is spoiled arrogant a lot of times we'll use his personality and, and looks to get what he wants or she wants. Right now they want you. They want a fresh start. Mm -hmm. They know that they're not going to have the sun card. They're just not going to have that new beginning or a fresh start with anybody until they dwell into these secrets that they keep and, uh, you know, do this inner healing. They have to come clean, not only with you, but with themselves. Yeah. This person is not happy with themselves, okay? They've been uh, two-faced and mysterious, but they're lonely now, especially at night, I think. You turn your back, well, they feel that you're turning your back on them. Um, they don't, they're not so sure that they're going to get this Ten of Cups with you now. They, they saw, uh,
this might not just be love, this might be opportunism. They might be seeing that you're doing well and uh, they want a part of that. They're waiting for you to get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. Now, whether this person is actually healing or just feeling sorry for themselves, that's still yet to be seen. Just because the card says, says they need time for healing doesn't me mean they're actually using that time to heal. You're coming out of pain. This person stabbed you in the back. They, uh, they betrayed you over and over again. That's how you felt. You're coming out of that feeling now, though. You've learned a lesson through this. You're getting up, and you're moving on. No more, you know, feeling guilty or sleepless nights or any of that for you. No. You, you managed to get into your Queen of Swords energy, and you're on your throne, and I don't think anybody's going to pull you off of it anymore. Nobody's going to bring you down off your throne. Yeah. You're keeping everything close to the vest here. You're, you might be, uh, might have a few money issues. Uh, you might be watching your dollars, but you're keeping your emotions close. You're not giving any, anything out to this person emotionally or money-wise or anything else. You might think that this person's after you, money. Or they want you because you can take care of them and make them feel comfortable. They see you as abundant in some way, some way that they like. All right. Okay. You might have offered them your love, your ace of pentacles, and, uh, you know, you might have talked about a great future and everything with this person. Um, but they didn't nurture the relationship. They just didn't nurture it. You planted the seed, but they didn't help help make it grow at all. And now they see as this opportunity is is fading. Yeah. They know that they should have reciprocated. And they want that ace of pentacles now, but they feel they're losing it. Yeah. They're lost and they're feeling hopeless here. They're reviewing the past, all right. They're uh, looking at the mistakes they've made. So this person could be doing some self-analyzing here. Yeah, and I think they're feeling guilty. Guilty over the way they treated you and possibly guilty over how they've treated other people that loved them. Yeah, they're forlorn. But I think they're living in the past. They need to get out of the past. The past for this person is something that's holding them back because they have secrets. They've collected secrets. They don't want anybody to know about. Yeah, okay. You see this. Yeah. You've turned your back on them and now you've broken their heart, or you've damaged their emotional, you've damaged them emotionally. Maybe not just you, but I think their heart is breaking over the fact that 
you're not reciprocating to them. You're not showing them any attention. This person's an attention getter. They, they love to be put on a pedestal or um, glorified. They love compliments. Yeah. They're a sucker for compliments and any kind of attention that people can give them. Well, you're in your high priestess energy too. Wow. Boy, are you powerful. Like I said, your intuition is right on and you're, you're connected to your spirituality. And like I said, I, your spirituality has helped you through this, through this ten of swords in reverse over here to heal. You're coming out of that the bad feeling. You, you're connected uh, strongly to your spirituality. And uh, you know some of these person's secrets. Your intuition, if they haven't come right out and expressed these secrets to you, and I don't think they have, uh, your intuition is telling you what's going on here anyway. So you know basically what's happening to this person over here. That's why I think you already re under feel that they're going to uh, be wanting a second chance. You're intuitive about that. Or they did want a second chance and you shut them out completely. Yeah, you're, like I say, you're, you're standing strong here in your own power. You're confident in yourself now. Some of you want this person back. Okay, maybe you see the, the nature of their trauma or their whatever their whatever their problem is. You may see the nature in that and feel sorry for them or have some sort of compassion for what they're going through, but you're still not letting your guard down. Even though some of you may want them back, you're just You know what it is? It's not that you really want them back, some of you. It's just that you're very indecisive about it. You're going back and forth in your head whether you're going to take this person back or do you want them back. Or It's like you loved them and then when you... Well, you loved them. And when you separated, it was really hard for you to leave this love. So a lot of you are wondering if you can find it in your heart to bring them back or not. person could have taken something from you, if, if not just your pride and your self-worth and all that. But they could have uh, taken, maybe taken some of your money and uh, made you feel embarrassed or for letting them do that to you. Or they took advantage of in some way that left you feeling uh, kind of embarrassed. Maybe it's because you were gullible. Yeah, they made you feel defeated in a way, like they didn't value you or something like that. Okay, this person could be a partier, maybe drink. Or, uh, you know, cheat. Or third-party stuff here. Let's get to the nitty-gritty of this. We're talking about somebody who threw away their own happiness so that they could go out and cheat. That's what it looks like here. They threw away their ace of pentacles so they could party more. Go out and get more attention. 
and they think they're going to get this sun card and this ten of cups with you if they heal but they're hoping for it because like I say this person's in emotional pain right now and they may be blaming you for it because they're fe definitely feeling the victim here All right. they see you as the one they want to choose yeah what they're doing is they're looking back basically at what they did to you they know that you are like almost innocent kind of you have a purity to you you're nurturing you're warm lovable you'd be a good mother you know you like nature you're just you're the empress boy so this person knows that's why they're so sad feeling guilty but to be playing the victim, I don't think so. That's where they're going wrong. If anybody's a victim here, it's you. You're the one with all your defenses up. You're the one that spent the uh, sleepless nights worrying, keep confused, maybe even feeling guilty for something you didn't even do. Yeah, they think you're the one. They're the, you're, they're the best. You're the best that they can find. Let's put it that way. And what did they do? They sabotaged the relationship because they needed to go out and play. Well, that's their choice. Yeah, they're a tension getter. This person could be having money problems now. They like money. They want to be in a high position. They want to have a nice house, nice car, all that. They want to look good in front of people. But it matters a lot to this person how they, how they appear in public, how people see them. Hmm. Guess it didn't matter too much to them when they were breadcrumbing you. person likes to flirt around too I get the impression that nothing makes this person real really happy whatever they go after whatever they work on it's it's not to their nothing's to their satisfaction they live in uh, this person could be a gold digger like I say that they, they might have taken some of your money or they're looking to take your money but they also want you they love you too they think they love you they, th they think that you could show them a really good life take care of them I don't like this energy today on their side at all you've been carrying a heavy burden the whole load Libra you got to drop this load. You got to you got to continue to heal. You've got to uh, continue to stand in your power, but drop this load. Don't carry this emotional burden any longer. And a lot of you are dropping the load already, and you're in. Now you feel a lot more comfortable. A lot of you are feeling a lot more comfortable. But there's a bunch of you that are still carrying the load of this relationship on your back. Your higher power is telling you to drop this load. And your, your higher power is assisting you in relieving all this pressure and work that you've done you know, they want higher powers telling you, drop this load, okay? Yeah, you don't trust this person at all. You think they're a con artist or something now. You're expecting they're going to want to come back and s scheme on you somehow. Some of you are just unsure, but all right, 
higher power saying, drop it. Your money's going to get better. Don't let this person waylay you in any, you know, if they've embarrassed you, if they've gossiped about you, or tried to make you look bad uh, for any reason, because they're angry, because they're in the King of Wands energy in reverse. They're angry. They're upset. They're blaming you because you broke their heart. Well, poor them. They hadn't a breadcrumb you. Possibly cheated on you. Because they're an attention getter. Maybe their heart wouldn't be broken right now. Maybe you guys would be together and living a happy life. Because I, I think that's what was meant to be in the first place. This could have been a spiritual union. And they sabotaged it. Sabotage their own happiness just for simple pleasures. 3D bodily pleasures. They sacrificed what looks like to me with that sun card there and the Ten of Cups right next to it. Yeah, they feel they lost it, but it could... I mean, that, that's something that looks like it was meant to be for them. And I think they're realizing it, that you are the Empress, and you, you, you were meant to be together. There was a spiritual plan here. This was a test. It was karmic. They didn't pass the test. Now they're lost, and they're losing their Ten of Cups. <clears throat> okay. You got to, you know, go into hang, Hangman <clears throat> and see more perspective you got more perspective in hangman you started putting yourself in this person's shoes yeah because you got this you know it's right here with the high priestess you started uh trying to understand this person instead of just being angry which i'm sure many of you were uh you started to Try and figure out where this person was coming from. What made him act like this? What made him selfish and and uh, you know and so insecure that they had to get attention all the time? You, that's why some of you might have come to the conclusion, you know, that this person needs some kind of help, and that you can't. You don't want to be totally against them because you have some compassion for them. And there's others of you who have, well, not all of you have any compassion. This is just some of you. Some of you have compassion towards this person. Actually want to see him heal and help. And a lot of others, others of you, they've hurt you so bad that, you know, you're just going to set these boundaries. You may not ever want to hear from again. And this Queen of Swords energy, she's usually willing to talk. You know, she's not going to take any crap, but she's usually willing to hear somebody out. Okay. Don't let anybody deter you from what you're working on up here, because what you're working up on here is going to make you secure. It's going to put you in a good position. May not make you rich, but it's going to put you in a position where you, you feel comfortable. Most of you are good with money, Libra. You know how to, you know, save. You know how to dole it out. Uh, you're pretty giving. You'll help people out, but you're just not going to give away money. If someone, you know, is going to pay you back or you care about that person, you might gift them some money, but you don't give money to people that don't pay you back. You're smarter than that. You've got a good head for money, Libra. And you're generous when you feel it's appropriate. You're good-hearted, well-balanced, or you were well-balanced. You will be well-balanced again, okay? So don't give up on your money. Don't give up on what you're working on. If things are a little tight right now, 
if you feel like you've been thrown off course or off your path or you have haters or anything like that, stick to your guns. I see you're a fighter up here. You've got the seven of wands. You're holding your ground. And you're fighting for your position. That's good. According to these cards, that's what you need to do. Now they're over here waiting. They're waiting. <laughs> they're in pain. Every day that goes by, they're in a little more pain. They, they just can't believe that you haven't shown up yet. Where's Libra? Why haven't they got a hold of me? Oh, I'm, I'm the king of wands. I'm, I'm so good looking. You know, I've, I've, I'm fun to be with. You know, what's the deal? This person's still confident that you're going to show up. I don't see them healing here. I know they need time to heal, but are they doing it? Not in the King of Wands position, in the, you know, in the upside down position here, reversed. They're, what they're doing is getting angry. You broke their heart. They're, they're playing the victim. But they're also regretting what they did. Because every day I see that goes by, it gets more painful and more painful for them. Because you, you're, not, you're not coming to get them. You just left them there. They can't believe it. But they're hanging on. They're hanging on, waiting for you to come. Oh, this person must have an ego. Okay, now they've got an unhealthy attachment to you. This person is toxic. Yeah, they need time to heal, all right. Yeah, they're out. They're either attached to you in some unhealthy way. I mean, sexually, maybe they lust for you. Or they want to entrap you. They want to keep you chained to their energy. Now, this is unhealthy. All right. They're very possessive. And uh, they don't want to break this bond between you and them. Right now, they, they, they figured out that you're the only one. You're the, you're the one. You're their perfect match. And... Uh, they're not going to let you go, but they're going to commit a scheme on you. That's what you f think they're going to do, and that's what they're going to do. They're not going to be honest. They're not going to come in healed. They might tell you they're healed. This person's got a lot of toxicity, and they want to put that toxicity on you. They want to put you in pain. They want you to go through the same thing that they're going through. Yeah, this person's out for some kind of revenge. Or or just to to scheme on you enough, maybe love bomb you, lust you, get something going like that so that they can chain chain you to them. Wow. Okay. They're looking at money. This person loves money. They like to see money grow. They might be an investor. They might be a con artist. The, mag the mag magician in reverse, in my readings, is a con artist. Somebody that schemes and doesn't mean you well. They want to come into your life to take advantage of you in some aspect. And we know what they want to do here is control you, bring you off your pedestal. Yeah. They want to drag you off your throne, Libra. Chain you to them so that you can't make your own judgments. You can't do anything without this person in your energy. 
It could be worse than that. But they're looking money. They're looking where to invest next. And you're it. And I'm not saying invest money into you. I'm saying take money from you. Or just get you to accept them. Then, then they'll start controlling you. And then you'll take care of them. Because I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to scheme somehow. But when they come in, it's going to be toxic. They want to do something negative to you. I'm telling you, they want to pull you down off your throne. Man, you are protected over here. You're protecting yourself. You're connected to your spirituality. And, and you're moving ahead. You're getting your bucks together. You might have been having to tighten your belt and get stingy over here, but you're, you're moving into... Oh, brother. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you shattered this person's dreams. <laughs> they may have shattered your dreams. They, they, they put you in a ten of swords. That's that's like the most painful card in the deck, right? And then, and, but you learn through it, and you're getting out of that. Nine of cups over here. Their nine of cups is reversed. This person's arrogant. Yeah, they felt entitled. To, what, to you and whatever you have. It's just theirs now. But you blew that for them. Now they're sitting over here in all their ego and arrogance thinking that you're going to come back. You're going to come, finally come back because you can't resist the chains that they've put on you. You can't break those chains. That's what they think. Yeah, but they lie. Oh, God. When they come back, they're going to be lying to you. Flat out lying to you. Time to heal. All right. This person's not taking advantage of that time. Doesn't look like. They're still toxic. They're still lying. They're going to come in and just freaking lie to you. These cards are very clear. Yeah, they had a great partnership here. They feel that they've invested into you. Their time. You know. Well, we had we we made all these plans, we talked together, we've known each other for years, uh, while they were breadcrumbing you and you're giving everything to the relationship. Now they feel like they're entitled. They see you as the perfect partner, and they're entitled to you because, because they've, they've invested time with you. Wow. And treated you like hell the whole, the whole time, basically. This person is no good. Where were you dealing with here? The cross watchers. This could, if you're drawn to this channel, this could be your reading. Just... Swap energies here. See how that works out for you. It's just a story. It's not for everybody. Don't take any of this personally. Yeah, what you learned in this, uh, when you're in Hangman's, you learn that this person is untrustworthy. Uh, they make big plans, talk, talk, big talk. They don't follow through. Everything is real slow with this person. You might hear from them on an email or text or something, and then you don't hear from them again. And you don't even know what they're doing. 
They're slow. They've teased you. All they did was tease you. Wave the love, wave the pentacles, wave everything under your nose. Make all these plans and promises, and they don't follow through. They act like they're in some kind of knight in shining armor. That they're solid and steadfast, and everything they know and everything they do is, is right and is the way it should be done. But it's all bullshit because they're insecure and they can't follow through with anything. They hide. When the going gets rough, they hide. Yeah. They had you up in the Eight of Swords and you're getting out of that. Yeah, you figured it out. When you're in hangman position, when you took that time to figure things out, get some other perspectives, you figured out this person's a real con artist. And once you started realizing what this person really was and what their intentions were, you started losing the fear and the anxiety that started going away because you figured them out. You realized, I don't have to be in fear or agony over this person. I don't have to spend any more sleepless nights over this person. You put your sword up. You put your defenses up. You, you, got, you, you connected with your spirituality. And you, you stop feeling guilty. You stop feeling bad. Like I say, you separated from them. Some of you are really having a hard time with that separation because they have this chain. They put this chain on you. They traumatized you in some way or they, they made you feel codependent, or worthless, or whatever, because all they did was lie to you. This person's very comfortable with lying because they're a game player. And when you play games with people, that's nothing but a pack of lies. This has been the most beautiful November I've ever seen. I mean, it's sunny every day. This, this is usually one of the coldest months around here. Oh, it gets chilly at night, but the sun comes out and it's gorgeous. Never seen anything like it. Must be the global warming. Things have really changed. Every year, something else gets a little different. Okay. Yeah, this person's passionate for you. That's why they got this toxic devil card here. With the ace of swords in reverse right on top of it. And both of those cards are on top of the empress, and that's you. They want to toxify you. They want to lie to you. They want to put all their toxicity on you and drag you off your throne. This person's really passionate for you. They lust for you. Maybe they lust for a lot of people. You don't know. You don't know what this person does exactly. You've just figured them out enough to know that uh, they have secrets. You might even know some of their secrets because of your intuition here. You know there's, you know a lot more, let's just put it this way. You know a lot more about this person than they believe you do. Or, you know, you know a lot more about this per person than they think you should. Yeah. Because I think you're light. This is a phrase that we all use. Your light scares their demons. You're spiritual. I don't see any spirituality on this side. I see a person that might know something about it. You know, soulmates and things like that. But they don't, they don't try, go that way. They're not spiritual. They just know some spiritual stuff. That doesn't mean they're connecting to their higher power. This person's lustful. An attention getter. I think all you got to do is give this person enough compliments and they might just go for it. 
moment. They sabotage this perfect relationship and they know it. Because they see you as the perfect partner. But perfect partner for what? For what? Perfect, po per perfect partner for the devil? Is that what they think you are? This person might be wanting to move away. They might be changing their location. Why, I wonder. Uh, you two might have had something in, in common at one time. You know, you might have been creating something together, planning on building or creating something together. Because you're both creative. This person's, like I say, they're a king. But they're in the reverse position. They're not a good king. But they've got some power. They're looked up into, into looked up to by the community or something. But you do have some things in common. I think it's basically in the 3D, like art or something like that, because this person is not not spiritually connected. I've said it several times. You've been true to your word, and you will continue to stay true to your word. Yes, be yourself, uh, be self-respecting, respect yourself. Now, if you talk to this person, be truthful with them. Don't try and lead them on. Don't pretend like you're going to bring them back just to shut them down and hurt them. That's revengeful. Whatever you say to this person, be honest. And if you promise them something or tell them you're going to do something, follow through with it, whatever it may be. You might just tell them to go to hell. You don't ever want to see them again. Well, that's being true to your word. If you say that, then be true to it. Don't flip-flop. You've got to make decisions here. I know Libras are really have a hard time making decisions because they just got to get that scale perfect. But sometimes you just got to use your intuition and, and go for it. Whatever decision you think is best, just go for it. Don't juggle it around. That's make you too. That puts you in anxiety. Don't just juggle it around in your brain over and over and over. Yeah, you sealed your heart off to this person now. They hurt you. They've got a lot of emotional baggage they tried to dump on you. You've had to seal off your emotions towards them. This person's really nervous about meeting up with you because of all you know. Yeah, like I say, you blow their mind. You know stuff that they they don't understand how you know. I gotta quit clicking these cards on the probably driving you crazy. Um, clicking the cards on the bar is what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're nervous about meeting up with you, all right. They want to. They're going to get, they're, they're going to try to get you back. Like I say, they've chosen you. Or they did choose you in the past and you shut them down already. Yeah, you're spiritual and very intuitive. That's what the card says, and that's what I've been telling you. That's what the tarot told me. Now, that's what the oracle cards are telling me, the same thing. Spiritual and intuitive. So use that intuition. Like I say, don't don't take forever to make decisions. It's, of course, you've got to analyze something, but just don't keep it in your head. Make up your mind and stick to your guns. That's look, That's what the Queen of Swords does. She's decisive, she sticks to her guns, she knows her position, and she's intuitive, and she's truthful, and she doesn't take any liars. This person, you know this person lies to you? If you told them, don't lie to me, uh, I know you're a liar, you know, I'm going to 
shut you off, or you can walk away, be true to your word. Don't be wishy-washy. person wants an opening. They want to come in and con you. I think they want your money. They want something. They want your lust, if nothing else, okay? They're lustful for you. There's that card again. It come, it's been coming out lately that your family is driving you crazy. And that may be the case for everybody because it's very common for families to drive people crazy. When you're all not on the same wavelength, you know, it could be negativity or people in your family that they're just not up to your standards. Yeah, you. A lot of you just really regret committing to this person. You're probably thinking you should have just kept it more in a friendship column or some superficial level and never been vulnerable and given this person your heart. You regret that now. Yeah, and you want out. You just want out. And you came to that decision when you were in Hangman, also. Yeah. You figured a lot of stuff out about this person. You might have even investigated. If you thought this person had some kind of trauma or narcissism or something like that, you might have investigated that to figure out. You might have used any means that you could find to try and uh, educate yourself on this person what kind of person they are, how they act, what they do, and if that's like, it's like, you know, what's wrong with their mind? That's what you try to figure out. <clears throat> what makes them tick and act like this? And you, you figured, you know, you just want out. Because you, you, you figured so much stuff about them, out about them. Yeah. And if you do talk to this person, or they're, they're going about their life right now as if they're unbothered. They're pretending to be unbothered. So if you talk to them, they're going to be, oh, yeah, I've been having a great time. Life's great. Uh, that kind of stuff. And you're going to go, I know life isn't great for you. You're a liar. You hurt me. And you're feeling lonely and lost. Okay. Now this person could have mirrored you. Okay. Like a shapeshifter. And be careful of this again. This is when this person tried to act like they had so much in common with you that you were just meant to be. Uh, they might have even said that, you know, yeah, you were meant to be. It was, it is written in the universe that we're meant to be, you know, or something. Maybe they didn't. But what they did is they showed you everything that they thought you wanted to see or you needed to see so they could, they could get their toxicity into you, get their hooks into you. They could have love bombed you, started mirroring you, getting you to the point where, oh my gosh, this person's perfect for me because look at the way they are, the things they say, look how they make love to me. This is wonderful. This is marvelous. But it was all a trick. They, they thought they had they, you figured out and they were using every trick in the book and this mirroring that that involves telling you everything you want to hear and uh, doing things you know sexually that, that you think they think you'd really like uh, maybe even gifted you you know gave you something but whatever they did, 
it was a scheme right from the start. And then after all that, after they got what they wanted from the initial encounter, they ghosted you. They ghosted you. That's part of their plan. It's part of the scheme. They hook you and they ghost you for a while. And that way, you get all up in your emotions, wondering, what's going on, what's going on? And this starts to, a codependency. They're trying to create, this is narcissistic. I want to get out of this narcissistic thing, but I don't even have a narcissist card here, but my goodness, it's screaming at me. The mirroring, the ghosting, pretending to be unbothered, breadcrumbing. And they got all this toxic energy that they want to harm you with in some way, bring you down. They're vengeful. Wow. Yeah. This person was so arrogant, so entitled, that they just thought you would always be there. You'd never leave. And they could do anything they want because they felt that they had you, you know, you know and a, uh, hmm, what do they call it? This toxic thing, uh, mm, trauma, trauma bond. Yeah, they were trying, they were trying to hurt you enough to make you feel so insecure, so confused that you had a codependent trauma bond on this person. Very skillful, this person probably done this to other people. Of course they have. They, they could have people right now in the same energy that you were in or are in sitting there going through the same thing that you're going through. They could have several people in that position right now, the same position that you're in, because this is what they do. They're attention getter. They go out and collect uh, people to get attention from. And they'll have sex with them if they feel like it. If that person flatters them enough. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah. After a while, they just showed no passion for you. You couldn't get them to express anything. It was all about their needs, what they wanted. You were kind of just put on the side. Put to the side, ghosted, all a game, all part of their game. They just want to hook people. Yeah. So here it is, very sexual together. That's what it says. Yeah. They laid that twin flame energy all over, it made you think that you were twin flames because it was it was such it was such a good uh, it was such good lust for them. They loved it. You were, you were trying to be passionate, lovable, honest, and, and really have a romantic, one-on-one, uh, -on -one reciprocal relationship. They're over here just playing a big game with you. They just wanted to have sex with you to start out with. They had to get you hooked. That was their main goal. And they, they really enjoyed it. They liked it. That, that's one of the reasons that you're number one, that they chose you above the other people that they have chained to them, they chose you. You're the lucky one. Spirit's guiding you now, so pay close attention. You're a queen of swords, but you're a high priestess as well. Spirit is guiding you. Just do your meditation. Stay connected. Just, you'll get through this mess. Mess. <clears throat> Yeah, they're using people and substances to get over you. Substances huh, to get over you. Like I say, they, they can drink or they can take pills. or Who knows what they do? But I think they also have sex with other people and imagine that they're with you. They might even bring up your name when they're being lustful with someone. 
person's real sexual. I think they have a, maybe a sexual addiction. And they may have a sexual, they may be turning that addiction towards you. Very, they very possibly could have some sort of sexual where they fulfill a void in their, in their soul by having sex with people. They think that's love, and then after the, the encounter, uh, you know, that space in their soul becomes void again. Then they got to go fill it again. It's, it's momentary, but it kind of fulfills their need for attention and uh, uh, validation. As long as they can get somebody in the sack and, uh, and, and get that person to hooked on them and really digging them, then that validates their ego. If you need to leave this person, you should make, make the move. Yeah, they're really sad they lost their lover. They're panicky over it. Maybe they don't lose people. Maybe they get them chained so tightly that they, you know, the person becomes mental. They, they mess up people's minds. And they're very sad now that they lost their love. They're sad to the point of panicking about it. That's narcissistic. These cards are adding up that way. Or worse. Mm -hmm. They didn't care. Their lust is so strong and they're so insecure and their ego is so big and needs to be constantly pumped up pumped up with compliments that's what they need yeah they took a chance they they, they, they were always taking a chance it's, it's thrilling for them to take a chance it's thrilling for them to lie to you and get away with it but you found out you know they knew they'd lose you if you, if you caught them up to what they do you found out, but, you know, they did it anyway, even though they thought they knew that if they, you caught them, it'd be all over, it'd be a big, big, big problem. They went ahead and did it anyway, because they felt so entitled and arrogant. They could do anything they want and get away with it, keep you waiting, keep everybody waiting. Now they see some growth potential with you. They want to, now they want to come in, they want this Ten of Pentacles, they want to grow with you. This person is after their Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card, but they don't know how to get it. Not this person. That's what they want. That's what they're seeking. But they're going about it in, the, in a horrible way. Yeah, they, now they want to connect with you and grow with you. They got to stop lying. That's what they want to do. That's not a lie right there. Yeah, you are a good lover, Libra. This person's attached, attached to you. They, they might be, like I say, have a codependency on you. Since you've been separated, they've been thinking about it, thinking about it. Every day that goes by is more painful to, to them. But they're still angry because you gave them emotional pain, okay? Ooh, they need emotional pain. They need more than that. They need to get off their ass and heal. They've been wasting all this time. They're not healing. Don't, don't you dare go back to them. Don't chase them. If you do, they'll just want more. They'll just put you back in the game. Once you get a hold of them, you're back in the game. They just want you to chase them. They want attention. They want their ego inflated. They got to keep their ego inflated. They can't keep that ego up. They panic. When they lose you. They panic. 
Yeah, they want to dominate you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying before with this devil card and everything. They want to control the empress. They see you as perfection. They love you. Well, they, they, they love you in the way that they think they love. This person ha doesn't seem to have the capacity to love because they seem to be a habitual liar. And uh, they cheat. I think this person's a serial cheater. One right after the next. I could be wrong. You know, sometimes I get a little dramatic. I tend to go overboard, but, you know, in expressing some of my reading. So, this may not be this, this you know, potent of a reading for all of you, okay? Some of you might identify with it. Others might say, well, that's, that's just crazy. The Swede's way off today. Uh, this isn't my story. This person I was dealing with has problems. I understand their problems, and I have compassion towards them, and I, I'm waiting for them to heal. And that's not happening. Not in this story. Maybe in tomorrow's story, but not this story. Whoever this is for, this is what's going on. They want to dominate you. Yeah, and you, feel, you felt like you are going nowhere with this person. Absolutely nowhere. And, and you weren't. You were trapped in a cycle, a game. Yeah. A lot of you'd like to be with the person. Yeah, you loved them. You're still, your energy is still attached to them. But all the trust is gone. You can't trust them as far as you can spit. Especially if they hurt you like this. Played games with you, breadcrumb you, put you in third parties. Run out and played around while you were suffering. And now they're all up in their feelings. Way more sensitive than you even realize, this person. Because they're insecure, they're, they're childlike. When it comes to love, they haven't got a clue. But, but they are very, very sensitive when it comes to their feelings. They don't give a shit about anybody else's feelings. Yeah, this person just shook up your world. They, they, they could have caused you to stop working. You know, you might, some of you might have had to take time off from work because you just couldn't think straight. They shook up your world. That's like a tower. It's like getting the tower card. Yeah, this is a passionless connection. Well, it's not passionless. Oh, here, here, here's what this card says. I'm going to put another one next to it. A lot of you are trapped with someone else right now, instead of this person. You might be in, be in a hard place. you got this person over here that's hurt you and trying to put your guard up against. Then you're, but you're also maybe trapped in a relationship with somebody that there's no passion there. You're just hooked to them. So you're just connected with them. This, and that connection is dead. But you're trapped in it for some reason. Could be a bad marriage. Could be living with somebody. Could be a boyfriend or girlfriend. Some, something that you just, you know you need to release, but you, for some reason you don't know how. Yeah, they need to come in and apologize. That's a good start. This person could step up to the plate, drop their ego, quit lying, and give you an honest apology, a real apology. Not just some little, oh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> none of that shit. An honest apology from the heart. And then start explaining all this. Why are you like this? And a lot of you know already. They have childhood issues or they were hurt by somebody in the past and now they're just, they're like this. They're not normal.
yeah. If you free yourself from this karmic, you're going to find a new love. This person you're trapped with also may be a karmic experience, a lesson. Once you heal or begin to heal, new love is going to come in, but you have to free yourself first. Whatever you're trapped to, it's holding you back from the new love. You're going to have to free yourself from it. Some connection that you're in. A lot of you are just looking better and feeling better these days. I think it's because you were in hangman mode. You figured all this stuff out. Your intuition lets you know what this person was up to. I mean, you, you got into some of their secrets. You figured it out. That's why I say it blows their mind that you know so much about them. They don't know why. And I think they might kind of be concerned about what you might tell others about them. But I'm telling you, you're looking, you're feeling better. You got a new glow to you. Especially if you've been, uh, well, in your high priestess energy attached to your spirituality, yeah, you're feeling better. You're glowing. You're shining your light. This person in your past, they still might, they might have somebody in their history that they just can't forget about. And no matter, and that person hurt them, but for some reason, they cling on to that person, and they they still want them, even though this person hurt them. They still cling to this person's energy. Somebody from the past, like an ex, or you know, somebody that was important to them at some time, and now they don't treat people with importance at all. They decided to lay their pain and toxicity on others. Bad, hurt people hurt others. Broken people break others. Your future lies in making correct decisions. As long as you stay in tune with your spirituality, you know, pray before you go to bed at night, meditate, whatever you call it. When you wake up in the morning, you always feel a little better. Whatever you were discussing with your higher power, even though you might feel like it's just not going anywhere, the next morning you wake up and, and you have this different concept or aspect, and then you realize, wow, you know, I, I, I feel better today. Things are going to go good for me today. And that's because you're connected to your spirituality before you went to sleep. And they were doing the work for you. They were working for you. You must trust in your spirituality, in your higher power. Everybody has to. The world is in a, you know, it's, it's in a bad place. There's a lot of evil out there, and I think the line is being drawn. Bad on this side, good on that side. Oh my goodness, my camera shut off on me again. I'm going to have to bring a clock in here. My readings are just too long. But anyway, I better end it now while I still got a little room on the camera. Uh, yeah, we'll continue this saga next time. Until then, peace and love to you, Libras.